Hello everybody, Christian from Treasure Town here, and today we're going to be hunting through another half pound of world coins and looking for silver stuff, rare items, could be gold, maybe an error or just a new design that I haven't found before. So I'm going to pour out this bag, we're going to hear a brief word from the sponsor, and then get right into the search. This video is sponsored by Whatnot, a live stream auctions and shopping app that I frequently sell coins and collectibles on. My link at the top of the description gives you $15 off your first order when you sign up through it, so definitely check that out. Plus, it's a great way to support my channel since any buy that you make with a new account gives me a nice bonus too. Hope to see you on some of those auctions, let's get into the video. And it looks like an interesting mix, so to start we'll have this 2 Zloty coin, aluminum 1960 Polish uh, coin, and of course very light, but has the Polish sort of eagle or bird, and um, they had a fair amount of currency revaluations, so uh, that's definitely not still um, good to be used as the Polish. I believe they still use the Zloty. I want to say it trades for like four Zlotys, one US dollar. Um, 1951, two kroner here from King Frederick the Ninth of Denmark. Um, and so some of the Danish items, definitely interesting, really nice coin history there. Then we have a Thai coin, likely a one bot design, um, but they, uh, that alphabet is so different from what I'm used to, uh, that I don't have great on command, um, you know, knowledge of it. And I'm seeing some different, uh, British one penny. I see a really nice condition, 1964 half penny. Of course, this illustrates the transition from, uh, pre decimal or pre decimal to decimal quite nicely because this coin would have been uh, one four eightieth was a pound. This was just one one hundredth. Um, and so I'll try to go through and pick out a lot of the, uh, British origin material just because, uh, it's often pretty not repetitive, but I don't love it, you know, pulling coin after coin uh, that's from that. So we've got the portcullis, 1963 pence or 1 80th, uh, and 1918 penny of King George the fifth, um, and then a King George the sixth Australian, 1951 half penny. Um, after that, this coin comes to mind. It looks like, you know, Oh, okay, so five kopecks from 1888 in Russia. Uh, I think that it's 50% silver and definitely a neat item. Imperial Russia, they would be overthrown by the Bolsheviks around 1917, I want to say. Um, but this one's going to be pretty worn, not a crazy premium item. And the you know edge has some issues as well, but still a really fun 1800s silver um, find at this point in the search. And then a 1960 Hong Kong $1. These are always interesting. They have sort of a neat rim, um, but also a reminder of how far reaching uh, Queen Elizabeth and the general commonwealth is um, across the world. Uh, we've got a hundred lire from Italy. Uh, we've got a Portuguese 1951 50 centavos or half of an escudo. And then uh, in Brazil, they speak Portuguese, of course, fun fact, because um, Portugal basically colonized them. Um, 1983 50 crew zeros. And there's the full one escudo. Um, this coin looks like it could be either Indian or Nepalese uh, or Pakistani, 1965. I will try to have an update on what this coin um, actually is because I'm sort of interested, but uh, presumably some country that we don't get tons of. 1939, 25 centimes from Belgium. I've actually never seen one of these in this condition. I always get them when they're super worn down because um, I believe it's like a World War uh, II composition and they've like eroded a bunch and it's like a zinc it's sort of similar to the steel zinc penny planchet effect um, after having some wear that we see in the united states here's a uh, french polynesia 20 francs coin um, from 2002 so uh i think that that's like part of a you know united um not islands but like yeah general pacific islands and colonies currency um, and then we have a commemorative 1947 Polish, uh, or 1967, presumably 20th anniversary of this man's death. Um, I will let you know what General Karl uh, Swarczewski, um, Walter, uh, did in his tenure um, in the Polish uh, military. Here's a Kangnan 10 cash. Let me know if you think this is fake or not. Um, given how worn it is, it's probably less likely to be fake, but a lot of the Chinese items are, you know, counterfeited so that's always given that there's a lot of value something to watch out for we've got an argentinian 10 centavos from 1992 um, a mexican 1951 uh, teotica uh, 20 centavos an italian uh, 
20 uh, centim or centesimi from 1942 from Victorio Emmanuel III, and then a Juliana 1953 um, Dutch coin. Five centimes here from Belgium, 1907, a little bit of an earlier item. And then Guatemala, they always have the guns on the coins, 1998, uh, 10 centavos um, with the monolith of Quirigua um, featured there. Uh, pretty prominently. This coin looks extremely worn. It looks like to me a Napoleon the uh, Third, who was Napoleon's nephew. 1854 is going to be the date, and I would guess that based off of its size, it's like five centimes. A mint should be Paris, and uh, you know that's just the portrait. But he was king from, or maybe like uh, elected or something, or I forget if it was king or just. Uh, elected for the Republic from 1848 to 1852, but then he seizes power, uh, and then he's removed in a few decades. Uh, we've got five Reichs funding, 1925, post-Weimar Republic hyperinflation um, for Germany. Um, we've got a very cool 1894 50 centimes um, for France. Okay, wow. So there we see it's a really nice contrast, and I'm not sure of the value. I don't see tons of these. But uh, we're back to having like a general embodiment of French liberty um, and, uh, you know, a non-emperor on their coin. Um, again, believe Napoleon was that last one on that front. Netherlands Antilles, 10 centimes from 1998. That's like in the Caribbean. Um, we've got this coin, which is an eight beautiful looking 1875, 10 ore from Sweden should be. Uh, and I forget exactly which individual it is, but there's the monogram, presumably the second. There's a pretty rare, there's some rare dates on the 10 ore coins, but this is a really pretty one. So uh, I don't think that it's worth getting graded, but if it's like a better date coin, definitely might be. Uh, excited to take a closer look at that one. Um, and then right here, we've got a two filler from World War II from Hungary. Um, so you see that crown there. We've got a sixpence with a dog from 1947 Ireland. Uh, do not believe that's silver. This could be silver, 1952. Columbia 10 centavos. It looks like possibly lower percentage silver. Um, very elegant silver coin from South America. Great find. Uh, then we have this five Saniti uh, from Tonga. Wow, with a chicken on it. That is a uh, pretty awesome world coin, I would say. Um, very cool. Pleased with that find. Uh, we've got this 1967, or 71, excuse me, Greek uh, two drachma. Uh, this one looks like a South African, maybe rand, or five cents of a rand, one twentieth of a rand. Um, that's their currency unit named after Paul Kruger, uh, the Kruger Rand. Um, so here we've got 1978 five centimes from France. Uh, let's see what else here. Portuguese, 1991 Escudo, a little bit later. Uh, we've got a Cuban centavo from 1943. There's some really incredible overstruck pennies um, where there's like a, you know, this get this uh, gets overstruck with like a wheat pen or uh, yeah wheat penny design, but very nice little Cuban coin there. 50 Grosch from 1923 is a little bit earlier in Poland, um, so that's very nice. Uh, let's see what this coin is. 1963 50 centimos de Venezuela. Uh, and then I see actually in back of it, I was waiting till the end, but when we see it there, 1929, 83.5% silver, um, five grams, you know, a Venezuelan, I want to say it's a quarter um, Libertad or Bolivar, but I, it actually might, this might be one Bolivar, then the big one's five Bolivars. I think that that's the case uh, and sort of how that works out. Um, we've got a 10 centavos from 1870, scratched up from Spain, but still 19th century item. A Nigerian 1973 10 Kobo uh, is great. Um, we've got a five cents from the Netherlands, 1948, and one new shekel from Israel, uh, and then our last one is going to be Katanga, which is a short-lived province in Africa, a one franc coin from 1961, and then an Argentinian two pesos from 2010. So I think another great hunt with a lot of like cool, whether it's the Tonga coin um, or some of the older sort of 19th century uh, items. Um, we also had four or five, excuse me, silver coins that I'm all really excited about. The most excited is probably this Swedish item, um, just because it's, I don't know, uh, possibly better. And then we've got this French 1894 50 centime. 
Um, and then rounding things out is this Russian 1888 five Copex. So um, great outcome. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one. I'm going to prep the next lot for searching soon.